I just wanted to, to provide a couple of words on sustainability before I pass it over to the next speaker here. Um, to start off, just to give you a simple definition, one simple definition for sustainability, it focuses on meeting the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. And there are many now who prefer the term regenerative, recognizing that we must fix what is broken to enable those future generations to meet their needs. Whatever the term is used, I think we can all probably agree that the dominant business paradigm does not meet that bar. And yet, we all understand that businesses are powerful and we have formed seed because we believe that businesses small and large can drive change. ASBN describes its role on the website as a movement builder in partnership with the business and investor community. ASBN develops and advocates solutions for policymakers, business leaders, and investors that support an equitable, regenerative, and just economy that benefits all people and planet. At CDNM, our aim is to bring together small businesses, community organizations, and interested individuals to challenge the dominant paradigm. We believe there are many business owners who see the value of aligning their business interests with worker rights, who don't buy into the narrative that massive scale is the best way to be in businesses, in business, who recognize and value their connections to community and are energized by the prospect of running their businesses in a way that helps reshape our economy towards sustainable, sustainability and community wellness. We envision a path forward where our voices and power become a, a force for real change. By joining this symposium and by completing the survey, which you'll hear more about later, you've taken a first step. We hope to engage with often sidelined small sustainable businesses to share concerns and ideas, to build a collective voice. So we thank you all for your partnership and we hope you'll also join us in becoming that force for real change. With that, I would like to pass the virtual microphone to my friend and colleague, David Levine, who is co-founder and president of the American Sustainable Business Network, or ASBN, to provide a welcome on behalf of our national affiliated organization. David? Oh, thanks, Sandra. And it is a, a real pleasure to be here with some of the top leaders in New Mexico. We're extremely excited about the work that you're doing and just right up front, you know, want to state that, you know, uh, that we will do everything that we can do to, to support the work that you do led by you. And um, just want to keep reiterating that from our perspective, you know, our mission in, in starting 11, 12 years ago was that we thought there was a great need for business organizations, companies, investors, and the like to actually come together into a business movement so we could have a much greater voice and power to actually advance and particularly to change the rules, to change the policies, you know, so that would take us towards a more just, inclusive, sustainable economy. <laughs> and that's what we've been working at now for those years. And we just recently merged the American Sustainable Business Council with the Social Venture Circle, which was a merger of Social Venture Network, the first sustainable business uh, organization in the country formed 35 plus years ago now by folks like The Body Shop and Ben and & Jerry's and Seventh Generation and Eileen Fisher and the like with Investor Circle that merged several years ago now, you know, into what we hope is an even more powerful mechanism for raising up the voice of small and medium enterprises, of sustainable enterprises, of regenerative micro enterprise, BIPOC led it, you know, the diversity of, 
of ways in which businesses are, are practicing, but also stepping up to speak out, to, to say that values greater than short-term profit, you know, is what they stand for, what, what they want to develop their business as, and what we need the economy as a whole to actually transition to. You know, it, the, you know, the old paradigm, we know what that has given us in extractive economies, climate crisis, you know, you know, the, the great income disparities, et cetera, et cetera. And, you know, we've always believed that as business has created many of the problems that we're facing, business can be an essential component to the solutions. You know, and as we stepped up, we said that the, you know, it, it is not enough for companies to just be green, sustainable, just, you know, beneficial to workers alone. They actually must stand up, use their brands, use their power as business leaders to advocate publicly, to speak out, right, in the media, to speak out to legislators, to help us to change the rules, change the policies, so we can actually support this just transition to a more just and sustainable economy. So this business voice, you know, over the years, we've heard it over and over, you know, we've heard from many advocates and that's great, but we often hear the business case as articulated by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce, the American Chemistry Council, you know, the American Petroleum Institute and the like. But when you show up as business leaders actually articulating a path forward for business and for the economy that can both solve for environmental and social and economic problems and at the same time provide for a pathway forward to create good jobs, sustainable businesses and a strong economy, that, that's a game changer for us because now we're going head to head with the old paradigm and we're pushing forward with business leaders that can do that. And in our vision, you know, this needs to happen at the local level, at the state level and the like, and not as dictated by ASBN, but as dictated by the leadership like yours, you know, on the ground. And how do we find the ways at the national level and at the regional level to support the work that you're doing? How can we, you know, pr produce the kinds of business case materials? How can we connect you to the, others, the other players that are out there that can further enhance the work that you're doing? How can we help you even on the fundraising efforts? How can we support you in many different forms? And again, under your leadership, on your direction? What are the issues that are crucial to you? What are the issues that you wanna move forward on? What's your particular voice in this as a leader in the state that's gonna work for your communities and for the state as a whole? So our job is to help to support, to help catalyze and to stand behind you as you step forward here because the moment is now. You know, the, the, the need is so great for the business and investor community to step up, to shift business, to shift the, the flow of capital into these communities, into these enterprises that are doing the right thing and into the efforts, the collective efforts, so that we can actually use the power of ASBCs collectively representing over 250,000 business across sectors, across geographies in the country, how we could support that work in New Mexico in order to, to drive that new economy there, the, the more just and sustainable economy. So we stand ready to do what we can to work with you to enable that to become reality. Thank you. Thank you, David. And thank you for all your support. I know we've been trying to do this for a while. Um, I'm, I'm Eric Griegum Toy. I think I know a lot of you um, I see so many uh, folks who've been in the trenches doing the kind of work that, that David's talking about. Um, we're going to hear from Sarah, Senator Kerry Hamblin, who's been doing this work with the Las Cruces Green Chamber for probably as long as most folks have been thinking about it. Um, despite her being a whippersnapper, she's been doing this work a long, long time. And now she's, she's going to be telling us a little bit about what's happening in the legislature. Uh, we're also going to be joined shortly by... Uh, uh, our House Majority Leader, uh, Javier Martinez, uh, to talk about what we can expect uh, in the legislature. I know this is a, a 30 days uh, session, um, and so there won't be, we won't be able to do everything we do in a 60 day session in terms of promoting policies that we all 
uh, that promote the kind of sustainability and democracy and, and uh, kind of the worker investments that we all support. But there's still, we want to hear from them uh, both about what were their opportunities for folks to plug in. I really appreciate David saying that, you know, it's on all of us. I see so many great leaders here on the call, whether you have your camera on or not, who, uh, who have been part of this ecosystem, right, trying to move this different paradigm. And I just want to honor all your work. Um, and I also want to honor the folks who couldn't be here today, because as we all know, there are many, many leaders across New Mexico who see this who see our vision of an economy that's much more inclusive, much more equitable, much more sustainable. And um, we honor their work and we wanna work with them. You know, we're, we're, many of us have been doing this for a long time, but this organization, this configuration is a new entity. Uh, we tried a few years back to kind of get some traction and it, the time wasn't right, but I think we all agree that the time is right um, uh, to, to really try to join together and to provide a, a business voice that's, uh, you know, and a community voice uh, that's much more uh, interested in, in, in changing the paradigm of quote unquote business as usual. Um, so thank you all of you for being here. Um, we're going to keep posting the survey in the chat if you haven't taken it, because we're going to be presenting some results, um, some preliminary results, but we really want to get as much input as possible. It's okay for more than one representative of your organization or business to, to, to respond because we want to get you know, everybody has a perspective uh, on this and we wanna get that as, as much as possible. And we ask our partners and allies on this call to please uh, invite people to, to, to take the survey and we'll be uh, sharing the, the final results later, but today you'll hear, you'll sort of get a taste of what, um, what we found preliminarily.